We're about one week into 2019 now, and it's around this time of the year when people are setting out to try and achieve their goals or give more attention to certain things, and I often see artists and creators having goals related to their work, and so in this video today, I thought I could do some drawing and talk about that sort of stuff. You've probably realised if you are a regular viewer of my videos that I've been making a lot of drawing tutorials recently and trying to get back into that routine of creating that kind of content. But alongside that, I also want to make videos like these where I can just draw and talk to you about anything related to drawing. Because although I'm creating small drawings for the tutorials, I also like to try and make some time for my own personal work. And so this is what you're seeing here. This is actually the fourth drawing that I've done in this sketchbook. And I, I wouldn't say this sketchbook is anything like the other ones that I have. I mean, I normally use a sketchbook for sketching in, obviously. But um, sometimes I just fill the pages with quick studies or I take it outside and I draw things from life whereas with this sketchbook here I, I try and finish um, full pages with an entire drawing and I create what are pretty much finished pieces that sometimes take quite a while to do and I really enjoy doing these I think I can easily show my own style through these drawings a lot of you will know that I like to draw in pencil and then also the subject of each of these drawings is something that I'm interested in and I think they all have like this common theme to them I'm not sure if that's going to carry on uh, but it, I have complete freedom with what I can create uh, with the drawings in this book. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it's sort of tied into my resolution this year. I'm going to try and do some more of these in this book. But quickly, a lot of you have asked if some of these drawings are going to be for sale on the store because I've previously shown a few drawings that have been done in this book in some previous discussions that I did in uh, recent videos and I'll be updating the store soon I haven't really pay paid much attention to that recently but I am going to be um, doing that soon and to answer the question I will be putting some of these small prints up for sale and these pages are only size A5 so I, I think what I'll do is create a collection with all five pages and I'll do that for every five pages moving onwards and then I can put them up for sale so this this is the fourth one and then I'll do another one and then sell those five as a collection so call it collection one or something so I'll keep you updated on that but getting on to today's discussion this video from what I know up to now is going to be titled something like drawing every day or something like art resolutions because uh, it's the time of the year where people usually set themselves some goals and uh, I see a lot of artists and creative people setting themselves some goals or aims in relation to the work that they create. You know, it might be as broad as wanting just to get better at drawing or you want to focus in and work on one specific thing. But I'm going to talk a bit about mine uh, and then I'll give some advice and maybe we can just have a discussion about this sort of stuff. I, I don't really like to script these discussions out too much because I kind of like just to go off on one and uh, have a, a natural conversation about the subject we are talking about. But um, this year, like I said earlier, I'm going to try and fill a lot of the pages in this sketchbook and that's definitely going to be one of them. Uh, I'm going to try and spend time working on my drawings in this book every day. So even if it's just for half an hour, I just want to spend more time drawing every day. And with that being said, I also want to learn new things and practice the fundamentals a bit more. So anatomy is something that I want to work on. I'd like to be more comfortable drawing characters and people from imagination. I haven't really spent much time focusing on that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I do a lot of drawing from imagination now but a lot of it is kind of like the drawing that you're seeing on screen here. It's kind of architectural, a lot of it's buildings and very heavily based on perspective and stuff. So I'd like to try involving some characters in there and drawing people more often. So I'm going to have to try and pay more attention to anatomy and I'm going to tell myself to introduce that into the channel a bit more. I've already done some of these figure drawing tutorials that you might have seen, but uh, yeah, those are my main art resolutions really, just to spend more time working on my weaknesses and also drawing more often and giving myself time for my own personal work. And uh, alongside that, I have this YouTube channel to work on and I have a lot of tutorials planned this year as well and some more videos like this which I'll be able to make. I don't really want this to be an update video because I'll probably just announce things as they happen, but I did want to discuss the whole goal setting side of things, especially since I know there'll be a lot of you who have your own goals relating to your own artwork this year. And if you've been drawing for a while, you've probably seen some progress since you first started, and that's only going to continue if you keep it up and keep working on it. 
So I'll use myself as an example and discuss how I make sure I'm working towards my aims with my artwork and then what I talk about should be able to apply to what you want to do. So what I think is the most important is consistency. You want to try and make time to work on your goals every day. For instance, if I'm drawing in this sketchbook a lot, I'm keeping up that consistency and I'll be making progress in my goal to fill a lot of pages in this book. Now consistency is just doing what you said you'd do on a regular, so the best way I think to do this is to develop some kind of routine and you, you probably have a routine already laid out for you most days. You might have to go to work and then come home, do all of the normal stuff and then you might get some time to sit down and draw. At that point you might have more important things to work on, so once you've got them out of the way at the end of that session, instead of packing away your equipment, you could take just half an hour extra to work or to uh, practice what it is you, you aim to improve at. Now obviously everybody's goals will be different, but regular practice will pay off. What happens is the small amount of time that you work on your art each day builds up and it accumulates over time and at the end of the week, if you've even just done half an hour each day, then that's a, a few hours a week. And there's no doubt that you'll see results eventually if you just keep that up and keep heading in the right direction. I said that I wanted to get better at drawing people and so I'm going to have to start paying more attention to anatomy and the other things which are involved because I already have the YouTube channel alongside work which takes up my time. I try and make my learning a uh, part of the content as well if that makes sense so if I, I learn something new I can then make a video on it and then it even reinforces what I've learned because I've just gone through a long process of making a video on the subject and it's a, a cool way that sort of allows me to practice but then also um, help you out at the same time and pass on the stuff that I learn uh, because we're all trying to improve here. There's always more to learn and to improve at and uh, it's this never ending cycle and so improving your art can be tedious, it takes a long time and so another thing that I think is important is perseverance and that means that when the time comes where you don't want to do that bit of practice or you are getting tired working on something, you tell yourself to push on that little bit further and when you realise that it's taken a long time to see results, you acknowledge the fact that this stuff takes time and that it's the process you should try and enjoy. Because it takes a long time and it's challenging, it means that it will be more rewarding when you finally get there. If you are being consistent and persevering through the hard work, you'll be making progress whether you realise it in a week, a month or a year. It's better to do something than to do nothing. Now I think it's also important to track your progress and if you work on what you want to do each day then you'll kind of already be doing this because you'll have a collection of work from when you first started and you'll be able to look back on that but it's good to have some form of documentation. It's frustrating for me sometimes because I look back on old work and even some of the old videos that I made and I have different views on the artwork that I made back then, but I think it's good because to be thinking like that it means that you've made progress and evolved and it's important for everyone to do that. Some of you might have noticed that I started to work more from my imagination, especially with the drawings in this book and uh, this was hard to do at first because I was used to working from a reference image. I originally started out just creating portraits, working from photographs which is good but I got a bit tired of that and I started to explore different aspects surrounding drawing like working from my imagination, I explored a lot of the fundamentals and then I just became immersed in all of these different aspects surrounding drawing whether it's realistic drawing or it's more imaginative stuff or I'm drawing from life outdoors. Anything that is just drawing is something that I'm open to and I think we should all be open minded to learning new things about the subject which we enjoy. But yeah, like I was saying, your artwork that you create as an artist is documentation in itself and you shouldn't be ashamed of how old work looks or you shouldn't even be ashamed of how your work looks now. I know there's a lot of you who say that you're, you're not happy with your work or you're not satisfied with what you create, you just need to keep going with it and uh, be honest with yourself, you need to look at your own work, be critical of it, recognise your weaknesses, find out what it is that you need to spend time working on and then focus in on that, dedicate some time practising and you will see some improvement. But yeah, I don't really want to drag on too much in this video, but I just wanted to take some time out today and discuss this stuff with you. I'll be doing some more drawings like this and discussions talking about drawing. I go a bit off script with these and I know that sometimes it can be a bit 
all over the place but I hope that um, you can take something away from the advice that I have to give and again it's just my advice I'm not an expert in any way um, I'm still learning myself but uh, we can all learn together and that's what it's all about is just um, improving at the end of the day and uh, enjoying it that's the main thing is to have fun doing it but uh, real time footage for this drawing will be over on the Patreon page if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like I have a lot of tutorials and stuff to come so subscribe with the notifications on if you enjoyed this video and would like to stay up to date thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one